Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this Windows Command Prompt series, we are going to learn how to check system information, change Command Prompt color dynamically, and delete temporary files and folders from our computer. To do that, let's open the Command Prompt as we normally do. Now, I have my CMD open. First, I'm going to check my system information from the command prompt. I will enter this command, system info. The command is system info, hit enter. Great. Now it shows me information about my computer. Let's scroll up because it's a long page. That's right. So this is where the information starts displaying. Host name, operating system name, operating system version, operating system manufacturer, and so on. It also has information about available physical memory, time zone, and the BIOS version. Here as well is the system manufacturer. My computer is an ASA product. I'm going to scroll down again. Now let's learn how to change the color, the look and feel of our command prompt dynamically. To do that, let's begin by getting more information about the color command. I will enter color space forward slash question mark and hit enter. Now this gives me information about the color command. Here we have information about numbers and letters. A combination of two of these will result to the color for the background and the text. By default, it is black and white. That is black background and white text. It says here, press any key to continue and I will press any key. In one of my previous videos on this series, I showed you how to change the background color manually by going to properties and choosing a color from any of these options. But in this case, I'm going to show you now how to do it dynamically by combining two of these. They could be letters or numbers. For example, we can use the command color space zero e hit enter exactly now we have a black background and a yellow test color which is light yellow here the e is for light yellow while the zero is for black and to change it to the default color we just type in color and hit enter Great, now it's back to black and white. I can also combine two numbers to do that. Now I will enter color one, two. Hit enter, exactly. Now I have this background color and this test color, which is not really the best to read. So to bring it back to what it was before, I will just type in color, hit enter. I can also use a combination of 0 and F for that. Now let's use a combination of 1 and C. I will be color 1 C. Hit enter. Great. This is what we get with combination of 1 and C. Now to bring it back to what it was before, I will use color 0 F hit enter exactly now it is back to what it was before black and white that is black background and white test color let me move this one up a bit now let's learn how to delete temporary files and folders from our computer using the command prompt we can delete 
temporary files and folders from our computer using the command prompt. There are many ways to do that. One way of doing so is to run this command. DEL space forward slash Q space forward slash F space forward slash S space percentage sign percentage sign and in between the percentage signs enter temp backslash asterisk this command del space forward slash q space forward slash f space forward slash s space percentage sign temp percentage sign backslash asterisk we delete our temporary files and folders from the computer now we hit enter to run it exactly it is deleting all the temporary files and folders this will take time depending on how much temporary files and folders you have got on your computer in my case there was a lot great now it has deleted all temporary files and folders on my computer they were many if a file or folder was deleted it will say here deleted and it will show you the path to the file that was deleted if a file required an administrative uh, right to be deleted it will say access denied and it will not delete that file or folder you could also use the command del space forward slash s space forward slash q space c colon backslash windows backslash temp backslash asterisk to do exactly the same thing so i am not going to run this command again because i have just run the other command to delete my temporary files and folders on my computer now i will delete this one if you want to see all the commands that you have run you can do dos key and dos key space forward slash history and hit enter and this will show you all the commands that you have run since you open this command prompt window so this tutorial was to show you how to check your system information change the command prompt color for the background and foreground as well as delete temporary files and folders from your computer thank you for watching see you in my next video and bye for now